After initially setting expectations low, Xbox came out swinging during the Game Awards, officially revealing Perfect Dark and some other timed exclusive games. There's a lot here to talk about, so let's get into it. What is going on everybody, it's Randall 419 the man with the million, back again with another video. I hope everybody is having a great weekend. If you guys can do me a huge favor, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and please hit that notification bell. You'll get notified immediately whenever I drop a video like this. It helps the channel grow, and honestly, I want to thank each and every one of you for the support on the channel lately. It's been amazing. So the Game Awards were yesterday, and Microsoft showed up in a big way, even though they told people to keep their expectations in check and if you watched my Sunday video where I tried to predict what Xbox would show up with I actually predicted three things right Perfect Dark was revealed, Master Chief did come to Fortnite, and just like I expected, Xbox ran an ad for Xbox Game Pass. It's kind of funny to go back and read some of the speculation leading up to the event. A lot of it was Xbox has nothing to show, based on Aaron Greenberg's tweet here, where he said, you will see us and our social handles promoting TuneIn for the Game Awards tomorrow. We hope you support the industry and watch. While we have a couple moments in the show, I would dial expectations way down versus speculation I am seeing, especially how big we went last year. So most people thought that Xbox would have a Game Pass ad, things like that. They would keep it low key, but they wouldn't announce anything brand new. But of course, they surprised a lot of people, well not really me, by announcing Perfect Dark from the initiative, but many people out there were expecting PlayStation to go big. And while yes, certainly the big winner of the night was Last of Us Part 2 basically sweeping the awards and winning game of the year a lot of PlayStation fans and people in the industry were expecting PlayStation to go big and announce a whole bunch of new games at the Game Awards. People were expecting Silent Hill to finally get announced, and it wasn't. And that Bluepoint would be announcing the Metal Gear Solid remake, and that wasn't announced either. So while Last of Us Part Two was the big winner yesterday, there is a lot of talk surrounding Perfect Dark and how the initiative is going to reimagine this game for next generation consoles. And I have to say, personally, most of the talk I've seen surrounding the trailer is pretty positive. They also released a dev diary on the game, giving us a look and talking about the game kind of in general tones that I'll have linked fully at the end of the video because we get a good sense of what Perfect Dark is going to be under the initiative. But this is just a, another game under Xbox's umbrella. When I look at last generation and the lack of games that Xbox was putting out because of the lack of studios it had, well that's completely changing this upcoming generation. Xbox has 23 studios, so now you can add Perfect Dark to the ever-growing list of projects coming from Xbox Game Studios in the next couple years like Halo Infinite, Fable, Starfield, Elder Scrolls 6, Avowed, Hellblade 2, Everwild, Forza Motorsport, potentially Gear 6, Data K3, Flight Simulator. The list continues to grow, especially with unannounced titles coming from like Machine Games and Arcane. But in this video, we're going to be talking about all the things that Xbox showed off at the Game Awards with a focus clearly on Perfect Dark. So towards the very beginning of the Game Awards, after Jeff Keighley gave out the award for best performance which Laura Bailey won for her portrayal of Abby in Last of Us Part 2 he unveiled a brand new trailer for the initiative and we had some of the developers Drew Murray and Dale Gallagher talking about the game setting up this cinematic trailer that kind of would set the tone of what they were going for and it ended up being perfect dark and it's very interesting seeing the reactions of people online when it starts a lot of people didn't know it was the initiative until the logo came up and nobody really knew it was perfect dark until the very end when the male voice said agent dark and the splash screen came up and said perfect dark Personally, I knew it was immediately Perfect Dark when it scrolled up the building and we got the logo for Datadyne, which was the corporation in Perfect Dark. And I started fantasizing about a stealth action title set in the Perfect Dark world as Joanna Dark as you're battling these corporations. I love me some stealth games and since we seem not to be able to get one from Ubisoft in a brand new Splinter Cell, then I guess I'll have to take my stealth action from Microsoft in Perfect Dark. On Xbox Wire, this is what the initiative has to say about their new game. With Perfect Dark, we're aiming to deliver a secret agent thriller set in a near future world. 
We have built the Perfect Dark team at the initiative by bringing in some of the most talented game makers from around the industry who all share a passion for storytelling, world building, and creating memorable game experiences. With the full backing from Xbox Studios to reimagine one of the best loved IPs from gaming history, we couldn't be more excited to share some of our early ideas. Also, in addition to the trailer for Perfect Dark, the initiative also uploaded kind of a three minute and 50 second dev diary talking about the game in general tones, which I will kind of summarize here. But for anybody who wants to watch the full thing, I'll have it included at the end of the video. And the initiative also included some concept arts, which I found awesome like i'm a big fan of splinter cell and stealth action and seeing this concept art my imagination is already kind of running wild with possibilities of what you're going to be able to do in this stealth action game just looking at this concept art right here with joanna dark darting to the left kind of holding on to a guard while she's fending off enemies at the front and i really kind of like the egypt setting with the darker look the game has and in the second concept piece we can see joanna dark in the streets being engaged by some enemies as she looks to her left as a car is being blown up and if that is something that we can expect in the campaign a 10 12 hour triple a stealth action game with some heavy cinematics then we're in for an amazing ride now to sum up some of the key points from the interview which i recommend watching they say it's about espionage reconnaissance tricking people getting into places unseen with tons of different gadgets and wild guns obviously it's a female-led character joanna dark she's a female secret agent in a world of corporate crime as you saw from the trailer the world is going through climate change the ice caps have melted basically there's fires everywhere and the corporations have kind of come in and solved the problem but there's some shenanigans going on they call it eco sci-fi an ecological disaster on a global scale and the corporations came in and they call it, quote, a blockbuster secret agent vision with the question, what is a secret agent? And when they talk about the IP, they say it's also something we have to treat very carefully. You have to avoid doing too much devotion to the past, but not enough. You have to find the right spot in the middle when referring to honoring the legacy of the IP and that they're really passionate about making sure they deliver stories and premises that stand alongside their peers in TV and movies. The devs also talk about one of the things about how to differentiate what they call spy fighting versus what you would normally see in a traditional first person shooter because yes, Perfect Dark isn't third person. It all plays out from the first person's perspective. They talk about the excitement of moving in places that you and I don't belong like sliding under things and jumping over things and they play up the physicality in being in the world with the camera movement and the GoPros so I'm thinking some parkour movements like in Mirror's Edge where Joanna Dark uses her agility to get into places that we wouldn't be able to and that they've been sharpening their vision of what their game is and figuring out what's going to make it unique and what's really make it stand out and what's really going to make it fun so personally I am truly incredibly excited about about the initiative and what they're working on with Perfect Dark and you can throw out all those rumors. It's not episodic, it's not some sort of seasonal thing. It's a true Perfect Dark reboot with Joanna Dark and it's stealth action and I love me some of that. But Perfect Dark wasn't the last announcement from Microsoft. They still had more to share at the Game Awards with the announcement of a brand new Xbox Series X and S exclusive Arc 2. Yes, Arc 2 was revealed at the Game Awards in an eyebrow raising trailer with Vin Diesel. Nobody expected Arc 2 to be something that would exist. People thought that Arc would go on forever just like Minecraft was, but no, Studio Wildcard has officially announced Arc 2 and Aaron Greenberg went to Twitter to say that we are excited to be working with Studio Wildcard team on bringing Arc 2 starring Vin Diesel exclusively to the Xbox Series X and S consoles and that was something certainly nobody could predict. We also got the debut of Xbox timed exclusive Warhammer 40,000 Dark Tide gameplay which was announced at the Xbox Game Showcase in July. Fans got their first glimpse of Warhammer 40k Dark Tide gameplay, a visceral four-player co-op action game set in the Hive City of Territory and brandishing Fat Shark's signature brutal melee combat, fans can expect to fight off hordes of enemies in this new Warhammer 40,000 experience launching on Xbox Series X and S in 2021. I gotta say, it did look pretty cool. It reminds me a lot of Left 4 Dead, but set in the Warhammer universe. 
Can't wait to play this with my buddies in 2021. And just like I thought would happen, Master Chief arrives in Fortnite. As announced at the Game Awards, the Master Chief is the next figure from across realities to join the hunt in Season 5. Starting right now, you can suit up as the Chief in Fortnite and take on your next operation. The Master Chief outfit arrives with the rest of the new Master Chief set, the next addition to Fortnite's Gaming Legends series. Rep the UNSC with the UNSC Pelican Glider, a miniature Pelican Carrier, the Little Warthog emote, and the Display a holographic elite skull with the trophy of the chief's exploits, the battle legend back bling. But that's not it, there's still more because Microsoft Flight Simulator is coming to Xbox Series X and S in the summer of 2021. For the first time ever, aspiring pilots on console will take flight in this critically acclaimed simulation. As revealed during the Game Awards, Microsoft Flight Simulator will come to life on Xbox Series X and S this summer. Simmers on the Series X and X consoles can expect the same level of depth as the PC version, allowing you to experience the most authentic and realistic flight simulator we've ever created. And finally, Cyberpunk 2077 comes to Forza Horizon 4. Congratulations to our friends at CD Projekt Red for today's launch of Cyberpunk 2077. We're excited to announce that the dark future of Cyberpunk will also come to Forza Horizon 4 through one of Night City's most iconic cars, the Quadra Turbo RV Tech. This powerhouse has been tearing through the streets of Night City in style like no other, and players can now bring this cult muscle car into Forza Horizon 4 across Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, and Windows 10. So there you go, guys, everything that Microsoft announced at the VGAs, but clearly, it's all about Perfect Dark and the initiative. I can't wait to see what you guys think about the trailer and all the information in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, hit the notification bell, share this video out, and please enjoy this dev interview from the initiative talking about Perfect Dark and their vision for the game. Later, guys. I remember when everything changed. Building a studio from the ground up in a new location takes time. When I started the studio, we were just a couple of game makers in a very small room in Santa Monica, trying to come up with a vision for not only a game, but for the studio. What we really liked was the idea of secret agents. Espionage, reconnaissance, tricking people, getting into places unseen. And there really isn't a game out there that's hitting that sort of blockbuster secret agent vision. So when I found out that we were reinventing the franchise of Perfect Dark, I was very excited. Perfect Dark, when it came out, was revolutionary. It did a lot of things that other games weren't doing. The gadgets stand out still. Some of the wild guns stand out still. You are a female secret agent in a world of corporate crime. That was super exciting to me back in the day. You didn't get very many games where you even saw a female lead character, much less saw one being as awesome as Joanna is. To take something that it's been so long since the first installment and sort of rethink what that could be and how we bring that into the modern era is a really interesting problem to solve. It's also something we have to treat very, very carefully. You have to avoid doing too much devotion to the past, but not enough. You have to find the right spot in the middle. Things were very limited back when the first Perfect Dark came out in the way they could express a secret agent, both in gameplay and in narrative. And us, without those limitations, ideas just started sparking. I'm passionate about making sure that we deliver stories and premises that stand alongside our peers in TV and movies. We wanted to create a world that people would be excited to come back to, something that was unique and had its own flavor. And that's sort of where we came to the idea of eco sci-fi. There's been an ecological disaster that affected the world on a global scale, but these corporations came in and they developed new technology. And for your average person, it's pretty awesome. It's a hopeful world on the surface, but once you scratch past it, there's a lot of things to probably be thought about and maybe stopped. We are leaning very heavily on what is a secret agent. And there's a lot of gameplay diversity that comes into that, and we aren't shying away from that. One of the things we thought about was how to differentiate what we call spy fighting versus what you would see in a traditional first-person shooter. Sliding under things, jumping over things. We really wanted to play up the physicality and, and being in the world, getting some of that camera movement. 
that we see watching body cameras, GoPros, and trying to get that excitement of moving in places and in ways that, that, that you and I don't. We've been sharpening our vision of what our game is and figuring out what is going to make it unique, what's really going to make it stand out, and what's really going to make it fun. We have high expectations for ourselves. We know that fans around the world are excited. I feel like now we actually have the horsepower to go and make this vision that we have for this game come true, and I can't wait to get it in front of players.